also a place for people to be working with corporations to help them do better on their journey. I mean, we think in such a different way right. than the mining engineers think. And it's great for the NGOs to be working with the corporate Absolutely. side as well to help. I'm very proud that, that Rio Tinto is doing that and want to help them continue to do that. And we recycle our process plant water. That sounds very beneficial. That's yeah. good. We employ three members of local First Nations as environmental monitors on the project. And we ask ranking questions that try to measure um, how effectively we communicate, uh, how trusted are we in the communities, right. um, do we operate in an environmentally sound manner. The main issue to be able to get your social license to operate is to build trust. But when you have a proper you have proper trust, then things will move faster. Goldman Sachs did a study in 2008 about the cost of projects between three to three to five billion dollars. Every week of delay of being implemented is twenty million dollar loss. No, yeah. So it's huge. So it's a matter of building the business case again. So that's why when I present, I always say I'm not a cost center. I'm an investment center. Mm. I protect value and I create value <laughs> for the company and for the local community. Our very mission as a company is the sustainable use of Earth's natural resources. In the past 10 years alone, uh, the uh, copper smelting capacity has threefolded in China. At the same time, the emissions have been reduced down to less than 50 percent. We do have to, you know, consider the, the sustainability metrics and that try and attempt uh, and value the environmental impact. We're very excited and motivated by the possibility for change in, in the mining industry. I think there are, you know, there are tremendous opportunities missed in the very early stages of, uh, of these uh, operations and projects. One of the organizations that we worked with and a case study that, uh, that I've been talking to folk about showed that the, the NPV value erosion of the overall portfolio due to these non-technical challenges was in the region of 20% just over the last two years. And that, I think, uh, is a, a very big value opportunity. The bulk of the world's mining deals take place on the, Canadian, on the, the TSX and the TSX Venture Exchange. It happens that Canada has the toughest regulations in the world. The result is that um, we have the most buoyant industry, mining industry, financial industry, in the world.